All right, welcome back. This time we are doing a chest opening once again for Nether Knight Reza this time around. We do have a 10% chance to unlock this skin here. We only have a thousand ice roughly, so that's four chests to open. And then if we do have to open more, we will go ahead and buy more ice. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and open up the four chests we can and see what we actually get. Again, it's only a 10% chance, so there's there's high, a high chance we might not get it for a long time and actually spend a bit of ice in doing so. Uh, I did pre-record this, so I'm actually recording it without voice previously, as you can see here. Very cool rumbly. That first chest is awesome. But, uh, so I'm re-recording it here. So this is the second chest right here. Got that Kestrel skin. Here is the third chest. The, uh, Saw. Cool. Elite Force everything here. Because here comes the Idris, right? Yep, there's the Idris. So that was the fourth box. So that was already a thousand ice down the drain. We're gonna go ahead and buy more ice real quick and then pan back over to when we open up the next set of chests. So one second. All right, so we went ahead and bought the ice. Here we go. Payment is successful. So we got that 7,000 ice to use now. We'll go ahead and open up some more. This will be the fifth box right here. Hopefully to get the Nether Knight Reza skin. We got the other one for Kensei pretty quickly. It took three chests to open to get them. This one's already looking to be double that, which is already on the sixth chest now. Um, and still a no-go. We got Opals and Essence. Just not our luck today with this one right here. Uh, here is the seventh box. So we're coming up on <laughs> quite a bit of ice spent. This will be the eighth box at 2,000 ice already spent here altogether. So 2,000 ice is quite a bit. Uh, this will be the ninth box, and we finally get the Reza skin, which you're seeing in a second. So it took nine boxes to go ahead and get them, which is quite a bit of ice. 2,250 ice. I don't know if he's actually worth that much uh, when he actually comes out, because I don't think he is a legendary, right? Like, similar to, like, Nether Knight Lance. I don't know. If he is, then maybe it might be the same price anyways. But regardless, let's go ahead and get in some gameplay now of the Nether Knight Lance skin here. Nether Knight Lance. The Nether Knight Reza skin. So here we go. Alright, so as you can see, we do have, in fact, the Reza skin here. Nether Knight Reza in the jungle this time around with Reza himself. Uh, we are going to be using the joysticks all the way through, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, and it definitely proves to be quite a challenge in the beginning. I started to get used to it near the like middle to late game, but still, I think the hardest thing about joystick controls for me right now in Vainglory is primarily the target location abilities. So if you have like Res's Ultimate, you have a certain area you can land and you get to choose where that, that area is, but when it comes to the joystick controls, you have to kind of scroll it over to there and then let go and it goes. And unfortunately for me, I'm not necessarily 100% accurate like I would with touch. Well, I would say I'm 95% accurate with touch. Sometimes I make some stupid shots and this doesn't look good. <laughs> but I'm definitely far more accurate when it comes to touch than I am joystick currently right now. Uh, so that is the biggest issue I see. We do manage to get this uh, this cruel though, so that was actually really awesome. Uh, and then the Castro unfortunately just does not have the ability to uh, to die. <laughs> she needed to die there, but she didn't. Uh, she survived and kind of pummeled us with some damage, which was unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and come down, go to my blue buff, and work on that. And totally miss my A, because joystick controls are awesome. Um, but yeah, so... I, I definitely... As far as a player who's grown with Vainglory since the beginning, I definitely like Touch more for the game. It's just more precise, it's more accurate, it just... It feels more... Uh, how the game should play, uh, for me personally. But if you're just starting Vanguard for the first time, I definitely can see the perks of joysticks, since most people are accustomed to joysticks rather than the touch controls we know we play in Vanguard. Um, a lot of games, even outside, even outside the MOBA genre on mobile platform, most of those games have the joystick controls. So therefore, most players who haven't played MOBAs or are first uh, their first experience in Vainglory uh, would prefer joysticks and maybe slowly adapt to touch but joysticks is what's familiar uh, so it's nice for entry level I feel and 
I think given on a lot of practice, you can probably take it to a high level play. It just means that, you know, if you were if you've grown with touch from the beginning, it minor you might as well just stick with it. Stick with touch. In my opinion. But um I don't know. Um so the build I am going though is going like a storm crown first, just because I want the clear. Uh plus it helps me with cooldowns and energy regen, which is half bad too. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and go into Aftershock, you know, BM, you know, whatever it may be, Spellfire maybe, or uh, Dragon's Eye, that kind of stuff. We'll see what go we'll see what happens as we go. Uh, I don't quite remember it exactly, which is good, because it means that I have a little bit of surprise when it comes to my commentary, because I don't remember exactly what happened. Um, but we're going for that Gold Oak. We're going to go ahead and try to clear as much farm as possible, as often as possible. So we can stay on top of our game, especially since joysticks aren't really our, our forte here. We're pretty low though, but we're going to go ahead and grab that regen anyways. Get healed up there instead of just port back and waste time. Uh, I should be able to get relatively healed here. Uh, I am a little bit worried. Like I said, the, the uh, Kensei came by and stole it. So that was unfortunate. I uh, totally forgot about that. Yeah, so that guy's annoying. You guys will realize that I get annoyed throughout the game by that guy. You won't hear it because obviously I was recording and my voice wasn't actually being recorded as you guys can see right here Pretty cool rumbling <laughs> No one can hear you So now I'm doing another voiceover for you guys uh, So you guys can actually uh, You know see the game and have some accompanying commentary with it to kind of explain what's happening and kind of give you my rundown of the joysticks we all know who Reza is. We all know how he plays. It's just checking out the skin and checking out joysticks is the primary concern for this video. Akashka does have a little bit of a concern here. She's a little extended and got caught out by me and the churn, uh, which is really good. I did miss an ability there, I think, uh, with Kashka being a little bit mobile and I'm not accustomed to joysticks. It was it was definitely it was definitely a little hard to to stay on top of things, you know, effectively, but. You know, I was really trying to get a feel for it and seeing if I can do anything worthwhile here. We actually did some pretty good damage there too. Very nice. Good job, Churn, with that hook. Allowing me to stick to him a little bit longer uh, and take him out. And I think uh, Famous, with the scarf there, actually landed a Spitfire, if I recall. So that was actually really good too. Lots of damage coming out there, taking out that Sky mid lane, which is weird, but whatever. Here comes the Cruel. It's, it's no use me trying to stick around and get that blue bus because Cruel just builds stacks and take me out over time. Uh, and he is in the um, lane again, or in the river, so we can actually do some good work here if we manage to kite him back a bit. He's already popped his flask, which is actually really good for us. Uh, I'm going to fall back, though. I'm really low, and Kensei is coming up, so it would behoove us to kind of back up and recollect. Uh, Chrissy does get it, but he goes down with regen, unfortunately. Uh, so I didn't get the healing, and the... The other guy, the other teammate did. The, the Gwen. So now we got our Storm Crown. Uh, we can start working towards our Aftershock now, which will be good. Clear time should be a lot better now, too. Alright, so it looks like Tony's grabbing my jungle here, which is... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. If he really needs the gold, that's whatever. I'll just kind of try to assist my teammates then, wherever they need me. That's the thing, if you're a jungler and you find your farm's getting taken, then don't waste time complaining, just go do something else. Like, go be aggressive. Go take some ambient from the other lanes while you're trying to assist them in being aggressive. Uh, <laughs> I see a lot of players who just get mad when their farm, farm gets taken, and yeah, it shouldn't be taken all the time, but it does happen in solo queue. And they get mad and they get complacent and they just tend to just stop playing good. But if you keep yourself, you know, you keep your composure, you can just go do something else and collect gold that way, you know, it's... God, that, that damage from Castro, like, is, is destroying me right now. I can't even, like, build up the farm right now because it's it's really difficult with the sky and the Castro there. As long as I'm protecting turret, though, that's all that matters. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't go down because if I wasn't there, it probably would have got pummeled a lot harder. The churn down below is looking into trouble because Kensei's there. He's about to get ganked on by Kashka. Yep, there he goes. I was kind of watching the minimap there. All the while, I'm just going to keep the mid lane kind of pushed back so that the turret doesn't take damage. And now I'm going to go ahead and rotate towards the bot lane. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take out them at all. So I have to be very, very cautious here. 
Getting that regen too is going to be impossible because they're going to go for it. I guarantee it. Yep, there it is. Uh, but since she's going to go ahead and fall back, now I can go ahead and grab it. Also get that ambient from that red buff that Scarf is desperately trying to get. Which should be going to the Gwen, but it's whatever. Uh, looks like I picked it up though, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, it's good for the slow. And it does give me a little bit of a damage boost, just not to my abilities. Alright, so looks like Scarf is a little bit hurt. Here comes Koshka though. We're going to do some damage ourselves. Um, uh, not really able to chase too much. The, the abilities though look really cool with this skin. I'm actually really impressed with this skin. It, while it doesn't look like it's you know, at the highest caliber of quality, it definitely has a, a bit of quality to it. So that's actually really nice to see. I don't know if it was worth the 2,250 ice I spent on it. But, hey, you know, it was all a chance, 10% to be exact. Ooh, nice renewal from that churn there. Uh, unfortunately, I get stunned by the Kashka, and I can't do anything for a very, very long time. So I end up dying. Unfortunately, the ultimate from churn was just a bit too late. I don't know if he had it up in time or not. Uh, I can't really say. Uh, but that's just an unfortunate engagement there. I didn't have a reflex block to block anything from Kashka, so that stun had the full duration on me. I'm looking at, you know, potentially getting a reflex block. That's why I'm looking at the store. Trying to, like, get a feel for, okay, when can I get the reflex block? Basically, 700 gold and I can grab it. Castro looks to be getting our jungle on the left-hand side. Getting a snipe in on Scarf, I think, is what I just saw. Scarf's duking it out with Sky, though, and he's not necessarily winning. We're doing pretty good though. We're four to one. I mean, especially with joysticks, it's it's not half bad. We're making a, a few poor decisions like that engagement with Kashka and Kensei, but overall, I think we've done pretty good for ourselves with the joystick controls. It's not ideal, but you know, it, it's it's okay. Like, just just take notice though when I use my ultimates. Like, it's really bad for me. Like, normally, like you just tap your ultimate, tap where you want to land, and you're good to go. Whereas Joystick, it's a little bit different, and it's a little bit harder to, um, to use. So that was unfortunate. We did catch out the Cruel, though, which was really good. Here goes my ultimate. Actually, a good ultimate there, but just not enough to survive. Um, another stun, I think, from somebody. Kensei? Or was it Kashka? So there's the reflex block. We finally got the reflex block, though. We didn't wait any, any bit. As soon as we were able to buy it, we bought it. Uh, we tried to buy it last time, but we didn't have enough gold, so we... Got into engagement, as soon as we died, bought the reflex block. So now we can hopefully block some stuns from Alpha, or not Alpha, uh, Kashka, or even the, potentially the Kensei, if he lands his B-Ult combo. Yeah, unfortunately, I think a lot of my team wasn't able to pull through in their lanes. So Scarf was having a very hard time, and I believe Tony was as well. The Gwen actually wasn't doing half bad, if I recall. Oh, no, the Gwen's actually doing pretty bad too. One and five. Tony's zero and four. Scarf is two and three. So the Scarf is the one that's doing not half bad. He just has a trouble with his mid lane just because they're a lot, lot, they're really aggressive there. So we really have to cater to that lane. But then again, like the two lanes top and bot are also being pushed in pretty heavily. Kensei's just wiping the floor. Although Gwen did happen to get that kill on Kensei right there, which is really, really nice. That's probably a good payout for her. Nice ultimate from the Scarf there. Unfortunately, he does go down from a lot of burst. Uh, can we go ahead and get the Cruel? Yes, we do. I'm going to go ahead and chase the Kashka. Hopefully, we can go ahead and uh, collect into her and take her out. There we go. Very nice. 600 gold payout. Uh, she had a huge bounty. Pretty big uh, shutdown there. Kestrel is overextended, but she's trying to just take out the turret. Uh, take that sacrifice for that. Oh, my God. That goes, that, that does so much damage. But then again, I don't have a lot of defense towards her, so... Here, here it was. I was checking to see what damage type she was, because I know she took me out pretty fast. So I wanted to make sure that I build accordingly. Uh, so now I'm trying to determine, should I go ahead and get my, you know, my coat of plates? And I was like, ah, she does hurt quite a bit. And I was like, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and get it. Because uh, here I'm checking to see, okay, how many damage types do we have of weapon power? So I saw that they had, I think, two or three... I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get the coat of plates and kind of go a little bit more defensive on that. 
that field there on that front. Um, so we, we put off the Aegis for now so we can go ahead and get some universal damage reduction across the board. Um, but pushing that lane a little bit and then going to the shop. Going to go ahead and uh, look to buy an infusion. Uh, and then we're going to come down and hopefully do some work here on the group here, which uh, may not be too smart. So we're going to go ahead and pull back. Oh, but there is somebody who's low. Oh, God, I hate that. No, we got the Kensei, though. Nope, not doing the ultimate. No way. That turret's already going down. We were basically committing suicide there. So we're 6-3. and three. We're, we're doing... You were doing our fair share. I wouldn't say we're doing amazing, but we're doing our fair share for the team. It's just a matter of the rest of the team pulling through and getting some good kills and, and getting some coordinated attacks, and we can kind of come back from this. I could have sworn I was out of that miss, but I must have been on the very edge of it. Here I'm trying to protect the, um, the Gwen, which we didn't manage to get, but we got the Cruel. And now I'm pretty much dead here. Yep. So, one thing to know. So, I don't know if you guys take notice to the composition of the enemy team. Again, this is casuals. I was just messing around with the skin and joystick controls. Don't really feel ready to take that into rank yet. But, one thing to note is they have absolutely no support. So, their team is all burst, all damage. So, there was a lot of disparity when it came to trying to sustain all that damage, especially with the Kashka and the Kensei, and the Castro doing a lot of work as far as damage too, and Cruel just being a nuisance. Uh, it was very hard to actually, you know, survive that, even with a designated support for our team, because we were already behind. Uh, and just because we were behind, it caused a lot of issues for us. We did pick up the Gwen and the Sky. Uh, the Kashka is going to be a little scary to deal with. I could have sworn I blocked that, but apparently I was just really low, or slow. Oh, I survived. Did I survive this one? I don't remember. Oh, no, I didn't. Tony was going to try to help, though, knock her away, but just not in time. Uh, so my, my fault there was not blocking the ultimate in time. I was just literally like a millisecond too late. I thought I got it, but uh, apparently I'm just a bad player. <laughs> Oh, God, that would have been amazing, though. Got two kills, got away from Kashka, make it a day. So 9-5-2, and two. the Gwen's 2-8-3. and three. Everybody else is kind of like around the same boat as Gwen, 2-6, two, 2-6. Six, two, six. And Churn just trying to support for the life of him. Uh, I mean, he has good items. He has Crucible, Renewal. Um, trying to determine what is going next, because he has an Oak Heart there. Probably going into War Treads, I'm assuming. God, this guy hurts so much. Like, Lord, this damage he's doing. I need to get out. Like, here, that was one issue I was having. So, he, I don't think I was stunned anymore. But I thought I was moving the joystick, but I was not. Uh, and I find that to be an issue I have with the abilities too. Sometimes I think I'm tapping, not so much the abilities, but like the, the attack buttons. So you have like the basic attack, which is a big sword there that I'm tapping right now. And then you have below that the minion attack. And then above that you have the turret attack. And sometimes I tend to like miss the smaller buttons and think I'm hitting it, but I'm not. And so I'm doing nothing. Um, so that's one issue I have too. Maybe like to be able to adjust the size would be nice. Or like the registry range of like when it's actually being tapped at the very least. Maybe not the visible size, but maybe like just the registry range. Kestra is extended once again. Nice stun from Gwen there. We were able to take her out. 10, 5, and 2. Good uh, plays with me and Gwen there. Especially that ultimate from Gwen. That was really impressive. It was a straight shot, but that was still really good. On the edge of her ultimate there. Kensei is also looking to be a little bit um, in trouble here. Can we pick him up though? And we do. Very nice. Uh, looks like Scarf Burn is able to finish him off there. They do have the Black Claw though, which is unfortunate. So we're going to be looking like pretty... Dismal here. We already got all of our mid lane turrets and our, you know, bait their defenses down. Uh, Krull's just working on that second uh, building there. <laughs> we, we just can't do enough. It's just the, the team itself is just dying from the 
pure amount of damage they have on that team with no support. We do pick up another guy there, though. We pick up the uh, Cruel. Uh, trying to finish off the Black Claw before they can finish off our, our Crystal there. Got the Sky. Nice. They are going to use the Teleport Boots from Kensei to go ahead and try to get... Um, really distract us. That, that, that really is what happened. Now he's just going to go in and finish it off. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we couldn't pull the W. We couldn't pull the win. But for joystick controls, I think I was okay. Like, I didn't find it too difficult near the end. In the beginning, it was somewhat of a shock uh, because I'm so used to tap on Vainglory. But I've had experience using joystick controls in other games, which I shall not name. Um, and it wasn't too bad. I, I really feel like touch control can do a lot. I just think that possibly... If you've already been using, or not touch, I think joystick controls can do really well. But if you started with touch, you might as well just stay with touch because it's just more precise, it's more accurate, and you're already used to it, right? Uh, but if you're a new player and you're wanting to get into Vainglory and you're more familiar with joysticks, start with that and get a feel for touch as you go on. And if you still don't like touch, at least you have joystick to play with and you can get better with that and hopefully be a high tier play. Even with joystick controls, it's up to the player, really. Um, the one thing I have to say is that the the stutter stepping is a little bit easier based on what type of hero you have um, when it comes to like attack speed and stuff like that. Like attack speed builds, it makes it really easy to do. Uh, so that is one thing I've noticed for like like Ringo. If you get attack speed on him, he's really easy to stutter step with. It's almost perfect, I feel. Uh, but, you know, maybe if you've already been accustomed to stutter stepping on touch controls, it's not an issue anyways. Uh, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay playing Rez Reza with another Knight skin and joystick controls. My verdict is joysticks are okay. I still think touch is more superior. But if you guys are new to the game, feel free to use joysticks. Get used to the game. Then attempt to use touch. And if you don't like it, at least you still have joysticks. Either way, the game is fun to play. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and enjoy this video as well. Leave a like and subscribe once again. I'll see you guys next time. Later!